think this is going to be an interesting painting. I came across this um, photograph um, in, a, in a book and it, I just loved the concept of the of the image, the fact you were looking through this old, uh, it's obviously an old garden, um, walled garden and you're looking through this lovely old wooden gate into all the beauty that lies behind it. So you've got sort of a water feature in the middle um, and then you've got to the other side of the wall you know, all these plants uh, in between and it just looked very inviting. You just want to sort of um, walk through that gate into the garden. So I thought this would make a very interesting painting. So I'm very interested to see what emerges over the next few hours or a couple of days perhaps. So I think to start with on this one I'm going to draw the frame, the door frame, and basically, so everything around that's going to be quite dark. So I'm going to put, sort of going to, um, this looks hideously dark, I realise, but it, it give, it's going to give me a very good, um, it'll give me an indication of where the boundaries are as far as the, The, the the door and the wall etc where the door ends and the, and the, the sort of the the revelation of the garden that lies behind it so there's our there's our basic door frame behind which is going to uh, reveal the wonders of the garden Okay, I'm just putting this sort of um, something to represent a shingle path here. I've put in what will be the background wall of the garden. And I've decided to show a bit of sky because the, although there'll be trees there, you won't see much of the sky. I thought, well, I'll put something there at least. So, um, yeah, it's starting It's starting to take shape. Okay, I just put a bit of the, the background detail on this is probably the only part of the painting that is actually going to remain virtually unchanged and um, so yeah I've put this bit here on and I'm gradually working now from the back and bringing it forward so the next thing I'll do now is work on this wall put a little bit of um, foliage sort of creeping over the top of the wall and then gradually move forward until the last thing I'll be doing is sort of shrubs and stuff around this door frame um, but uh, yeah it's starting to take shape at last now this is one of the more fiddly bits doing the wall I think there's no way around it really there probably is easier ways to represent a brick wall but which are probably a bit more slapdash but there's only parts of the wall that you actually need to do you don't need to do the whole wall because there's a bit of a feature in the middle of it so I'm just going to extend the the line where the concrete would be between the bricks okay there we go it's starting to come forward now so the next thing I'm going to put in is a little there's a little sort of garden feature it looks like a seat like a garden seat just in the background here so I'm going to do that next Right, well as you can see I've added some more um, foliage. I'm starting to bring the painting forward now. I'm just going to introduce some other colours. I've realised there's... It's a bit yellow and green heavy. So what I was going to do was just very gently, and I mean literally very, very gently, just put a, a few little dabs of orange on there just to just to add a bit of interest okay I'll do it. I don't want to overdo it okay so what I'm going to do now is a bit of a water feature in here so I'm going to start introducing that and then that sort of is it for now and then I, then I can start adding on all the bits and pieces on the side and then the foliage around the door probably and tidy up the brickwork and then I think that'll be it. So I have a wee bit of time to go yet. So I'll do this water. All 
Right, now we're starting to take shape. All right, I've just a few bit of shrubs to do on the bottom there. Okay, rather than get bogged down in drawing, um, I'm going to try to make the background wall a bit more aged. If you look at an old um, red brick wall, the bricks can be multicoloured as well as the mortar in between. So I'll touch that up a bit later. Um, and I'm going to do the same on the foreground, except obviously the bricks are going to be much bigger. So I'm going to put random colours in. So I'll do one lot and then I'll go over it and sort of highlight it and, and put a bit of mortar in and just make it look like an old, an aged wall. Um, so it, it takes a bit of time, but actually it's quite satisfying because you can, as you see, the sort of the wall start to take shape. So I'm basically doing the traditional brick pattern and I'll go around it, uh, finish the brickwork and then put the foliage on. Now on the original photograph there's actually an open door but you know what I've decided I'm not going to put that door in because if I put it in it's going to obscure too much of this and I just like this too much so I'm, I'm, I'm not going to put that, I've decided not to put the door in mortar and I think it'll benefit from that. And I'm not going to put it all in because then it just starts to look a bit too clinical. So if I just sort of put the occasional stroke and that will give the indication. That's all I want. If you look at old mortar, you can't see it clearly anyway. It's all higgledy piggledy. It's hard to see that the way the light is shining on it. So I'm just going to put a suggestion of mortar in there. I'm just doing it. Um, oh, by the way, I notice when I edit the videos that I've got a terrible habit of starting a sentence and not finishing it because I get distracted by the painting. And it's a hell of a job doing the edits because um, I never finish a sen I start a sentence off and I never bother finishing it. So apologies for that if my videos are a bit disjointed. But sometimes uh, I do even forget that the, the camera is running sometimes. And okay, so the next time, the next uh, time you see this, there'll be some foliage around it and it, it's starting to teach. Okay, progressing a little bit more. I've done. Uh, uh, finished off I think more or less the brickwork I'll probably touch it up here and there I put some sort of vine thing growing up here on the top left and then I think to finish the whole thing off um, there'll be lots of little odds and sods I'm just gonna have to tidy up the frame I think I need something bright something really bright in here perhaps I don't know whether to go for really bright or really dark just to, to, if I go really bright, it might distract from what's going on in here. So I'm not too sure. I might have to experiment a bit. But uh, that's, that's it so far anyway. Okay, well I'm nearly finished now. I'm just going to tidy up this shingle in the foreground because it's, as it gets nearer to the door, it gets darker. And it's, I want to create some sort of distance between what's going on in the foreground and the background. So I'm just going to, I'm just very gently dabbing. Okay, well, I think I'm going to call it a day on that. I think I've, I've done as much as I've done. Um, I had to darken these leaves a bit. They were too bright. And the whole point of them is they, they act as a real contrast and, and I want to, the eye to be led into this walled garden. So um, I might do a little wee, a wee bit more work on the, on the brick wall at the back. But apart from that, I think it's more or less finished. And um, yeah, I'm happy with it. <laughs>